Hello YouTube! So, in this video, I'll be tackling how to buy hash rate through Hashflare.io using your credit card. So, kung meron kang credit card and you don't have or nangihinayang ka dun sa conversion rate through CoinsPH, then use your credit card to buy a uh, hash rate. So, it's fairly easy. But there are extra step when buying through credit card through Hashler IO. Okay. So first condition is that um, I read that you should have either Visa or Mastercard because they require 3D uh, 3D security. Okay. So they support Visa and Mastercard. So, all major credit cards here sa Pilipinas, ina-accept nila. But, we have a limit of 3,000 USD. But, that is too big. Or, yeah, too big for us. So, if you are trying to purchase one, uh, one tera hash of 256 for Bitcoin mining, then that is 150 US dollars. So, if we convert that, that's around 7,000 plus. So, here's the step. First is set your terahash value, then click on proceed. Next is okay. Convert. So confirm. Select payment method. Then pay with credit card. Okay. So first check the the link or the guide for the hash flare credit card checkout payment so before i have uh, continued earlier i checked it first i do read yung kung ano yung mga requirements or yeah because uh, they don't process any transaction by uk uk issued credit card so Ding. it's Asia Pacific credit cards or there is uh, an exception for Visa or MasterCard so these details you must know before um, completing a transaction now next one is 3D Secure so for Visa and MasterCard uh, 3D Secure yung mga credit cards okay so there's a limit so 3,000 is too much okay so next step is Go, I have read the confirmation, then click on confirm. Now, the next step would be yung, yung pag fill up mo ng credit card information. So, this screenshot shows the information card number, valid until CVV, and cardholder's name. So, once confirmed earlier, uh, what happened to my card was my SMS na sinend. C Citibank. So, yung SMS, uh, you need to enter it through this panel or the next step. Okay? So, that is coming from or still from your credit card provider or your credit card bank. Now, next step would be to get yung confirmation number. Yung confirmation number will be listed dun sa uh, pending accounts mo from your credit card bank. Now, mine is Citibank and what I did was to log in to my online account. Then, dun sa purchase amount or sa purchase entry, makikita mo yung entry for Hashflare. Then, after the entry, you will see the number. So, kung ano yung number dun sa transaction entry within your uh, credit card online panel, yun yung kailangan mong tandaan. Then, go back to Hashflare website and you will see the verification code box being asked. So, you need you need to see what is your um, 
hash flare verification code is. So, kung wala kang online bank through your credit card or online account through your credit card, you need to call your customer service and ask them specifically to check yung current or yung latest transaction with regards to hash flare. And then, you need to know yung number after the word hash flare. Okay? So, yun lang. You just need to get the four-digit number. So, either log in online through your um, online account. So, for your credit card. Then, check yung active or pending transactions. So, it's either you'll be charged automatically or quickly. But, the transaction line is there. Or, it will be under pending. So, pending transaction for your credit card. But still, it's the same. So, you will see hash flare and then the number, the confirmation number. So, just ask for the number. Then, it's a good habit not to, to end the conversation first. So, if you can ask the customer service to hold while you switch or type it in, if you are in front of of a PC, then uh, itype mo na siya habang nasa phone ka. So that if the number is wrong, you can ask the customer service representative to check again if tama yung number or to check if nag-update pa yung records. If mayroon bang ilang hash flare uh, transaction or uh, nagbago ba yung verification code for, for some odd reason. So it's good that you have a customer service in line if you don't have an online account. So just get the number, then enter it, then click on save. Once it is verified, then your hash flare will at your hash flare IO account will automatically start your contract. And that's the good thing with hash flare. Once na verify na yung payment, ang bilis ni nang mag trabaho para sa So you'll see when you visit your dashboard, oh I have um, a number here, then meron na akong 1 tera hash. Nag-start na siya agad. No, wala ka nang kailangan gawin. Uh, you just need to wait for your payout. Observe and check. Uh, it's a good habit to log in every day, then reinvest. So, it's as easy as clicking the button and then you just reinvest kung magkano yung uh, investment or yung nakit na punta sa yung interest, yung kinita mong interest. So, now, there's a pool here. If you are in depth about Bitcoin, you can change your uh, pools right here. So, clicking the, the information icon, it will open up another page that uh, you can see kung ano yung mga pools na available or so na update ko na kasi yung pool ko kanina to slash pool because meron din akong account sa slash pool and I have checked um bitcoin mining before and one stable pool right now is slash pool but in okay so here uh, by default nahati sa tatlo yung pools. So, PH, F2P, and uh, slash pool. So, so this is light, uh, I think this is light coin. So, LP. So, but tomorrow, I'll try to change my pool. Uh, change it from being slash pool to another uh, pool or restore it dun sa uh, default value. But for now, uh, that's it for how to make a payment using your credit card through Hashflare. So an alternative method uh, away from uh, CoinsPH. Kung meron ka namang credit card, so why not buy um, the hash rates directly from uh, hash rate through credit card. So that's it. Happy cloud mining and good luck. Bye.